Hello everybody, I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and man, do I look happy to be back in front of the camera. It's been two months that I shot my last video in front of the camera, actually towards the last of March. So I'm really glad to be back today in front of the camera and I love to be the bearer of good news. So as you must have read in the title of the video that this video is about the reopening of Canada. So various Canadian provinces have already declared that how they are planning to reopen. They would be reopening in the upcoming weeks. So we'll discuss all about that. We'll talk about the possibilities of the Canadian border being reopened and also what it could mean to all of you guys. We'll talk about various categories, whether you are in Canada, maybe you are an international student willing to come to Canada for the September intake, maybe you're a permanent resident or you got a confirmation of permanent residence. So what are the chances? What are the chances of uh, the FSW draws getting resumed? We will talk all about that in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So here in Canada, after the first wave last year, we saw the second wave in the month of January and then the third wave which was even more worse in the month of April. But thankfully that is all past and things have started to get better after that. Especially in the last couple of weeks, we saw rapid decline in the number of COVID cases thanks to uh, the lockdowns almost all over Canada and also thanks to the vaccination. Vaccination rollout was pretty slow and criticized in the earlier months, but in the last uh, few weeks, the vaccination has been ramped up. And thankfully, because of that, more than 60% eligible adults in Canada have been vaccinated with their first doses, which means that the case count is coming down. And this certainly means that the reopening would be happening one more time. So after a couple of lockdowns and a couple of reopenings, everybody is expecting that this reopening would be the last one because many people have been vaccinated at least with one single dose and it is expected that people would get their second doses uh, by the month of august or september almost all the provinces have announced that they would be reopening in certain stages uh, stage one two three four slowly lifting down the restrictions uh, british columbia has already entered the stage one of reopening and stage two might be somewhere in the mid of june similarly alberta would be reopening on first of june and they're hoping that they could lift all the restrictions by the end of july many regions of quebec have already started reopening and from may 31st they would be easing down the restrictions even further and similarly about Ontario, they've also announced that they would be reopening somewhere around June 14th. And then every three weeks, they would be easing down some more restrictions to enter the next stage of reopening. Also, just yesterday, it was announced in Ontario that the second doses would be given ahead of schedule. So there would be even lesser time gap and they're expecting that people would get vaccinated early so that life gets back to normal before the end of the summers. Talking about the border restrictions, since the Biden administration came into power, many Senate members have actually requested uh, Biden administration that the US-Canada border restrictions should be lifted. But Canada has been resisting that because just a couple of months back, the cases in uh, US were skyrocketing. Thankfully, because of their vaccination, the cases have dropped down a lot. And yes, Canada is also rethinking about the border restrictions, the Canada-US border restrictions. This is one question that is being asked to the Prime Minister almost in every press conference and lately he has confirmed that the talks are going on to lift the restrictions from the US-Canada land border. So while June might be a little early to expect that, maybe in July or August we can certainly expect that the Canada-US border might get reopened. And yes, just like Canada and US, the vaccine rollout is getting better in other parts of the world. So you can expect that uh, there might be some exceptions, but the travel restrictions might get lifted or at least get gets eased out uh, for a few countries. I know because many of my viewers are from India and Pakistan and currently there are flight bans until June 21st. The situation in India is getting better. So maybe you can expect that after June 1st, that ban might also be lifted. 
All right, so all of this good news, what does this actually mean to you and me? All of those people who are there in Canada, obviously it means that you can go out, you can have your dinner outside, you can enjoy the summers, you can enjoy the beaches maybe in the upcoming months. And all of those who are waiting to come to Canada, maybe the international students, let's start with them. So all the international students who maybe uh, are willing to come to Canada in the month of August for the September intake, what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is to get vaccinated. Why I suggest you that? Because I've seen a couple of news articles where the Canadian universities and colleges have said that they are planning to reopen the uh, colleges for in-person classes. And yes, all those people who are fully vaccinated, certainly you would get some sort of benefit uh, living in the campus or maybe studying in person in the classrooms of the colleges and the universities. And I would advise the same to all those people who are thinking of traveling to Canada. Yes, the restrictions might get lifted sometime soon and Canada would certainly welcome all the immigrants in the upcoming months. So better get prepared for it now. And the first thing for the preparation would be to get vaccinated because you certainly would be getting more priority you certainly would be getting more benefits if you are fully vaccinated now please note until now there's no official news that when they would be lifting those restrictions and when they would start inviting the immigrants but yes looking at these signs across the world that once the vaccination uh, got ramped up and the majority of the population has got vaccinated uh, the covid cases go really down and that is a sign that the uh, country is started to reopen taking the example of uk now us and next would be canada so yes you can definitely expect that by august to september or maybe october uh, things will get back to normal here in canada and they would start inviting the immigrants once again the restrictions would be lifted so guys it's just a matter of a uh, couple of more months now i would suggest you to be prepared things are going to get better soon things are going back to normal soon okay now talking to all of those people who are waiting for the fsw draws i know in every video i have been asked these questions multiple times that when canada would conduct the all program draws guys there is no definite answer to it but yes looking at all of these good news that is circulating around us we can expect that canada would conduct the all program draws also once again uh, but yes, there's no definite timeline for that. Taking the example from last year when the COVID cases actually got really down uh, in Canada, they actually started doing the all program draws. Um, they came back to the CEC plus PNP draws at the start of this year because the COVID cases were really high. Uh, so you can expect that once these travel restrictions gets lifted, that would only happen. Uh, once the situation here in Canada gets really really better and that we can expect in the next couple of months so yes I would really hope that in the next couple of months you can expect the FSW draws to get started once again but yes there's no definite news this is just in speculation looking at the current scenario and looking from the trend from the last year so all right guys this is it for this video I really hope that all the information that I've shared in this video all the news would bring some smiles on your faces because there is hope right in the next couple of months we can expect that things are going to get back to normal very very soon just in the next couple of months so we just gotta hang tighter for the next couple of months and whatever the updates whatever is happening around us i'll keep updating you so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button press that bell notification and yes, if you have any feedback, any comment, please put it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.